This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh card review slash discussion type video and this time we have something really 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 interesting to talk about and that is that the spirals and the sub tears are getting imported into the OCG in their extra pack 2017 now it's almost like they didn't like the fact that the decks literally did nothing in the TCG so they're giving it some extra cards to help you know help potentially let it be playable in the OCG, and that is in the form of two Link Monsters. The Spirals and the sub both get a Link Monster each. I'm going to be using one video to focus on each one for archetype basis, because honestly, there's a lot I can talk about about either one, both good and bad. But anyway, I just got done at the gym and got back. For the first time in a long time, I have been to a gym. I haven't been to a gym in like four years, and Jesus Christ, did it feel amazing, but holy shit, am I exhausted, and my hair looks even more shit than it normally does, but I feel good as fuck, oh my god. But anyway, in this video we're going to be talking about the new Subterror Link Monster, Subterror Behemoth Apparition, a Link to Earth Worm Link Effect Monster, because Konami in the 2017 time frame cannot just avoid making things unnecessarily arbitrarily worm type, even though it doesn't matter. Why? <laughs> Why are you trying to just push this type? You're literally introducing Cybers. You could have made this another type that matters. I don't know. It doesn't matter in the long run, but still. Every time I see Worm on something that literally doesn't matter whether it's Worm or not, I get a little triggered. Looking at you, Tornado Dragon. Anyway, this thing has 2,000 attack and its links are bottom left, bottom right, and its materials are two flip monsters. Wait. Um, can we con can we link summon with face down monsters, like contact fusing? I need to look this up. How to Link Summon. Check the materials of the Link Monster you want to summon. During your main phase, declare that you are Link Summoning. Send a number of face up, face up, monsters from your field to the graveyard equal to the Link rating. Okay, so in short, no! You cannot Link with face downs as if you were contact fusing. I was actually kind of curious about that. But anyway, the materials are two flip monsters, and you can only use this card name's second effect once per turn. The first effect, this card gains 100 attack times the total original levels of its sub terra monster link materials. So, if you use two level 12s, it gains 2400 attack, making it 4400 attack by itself as a base. That's actually pretty respectable, pretty beefy but that's likely never going to happen because you're probably not going to dedicate two of your like huge huge level 12 sub terror that's not really that good anyway into making this card probably not even running that many of that card to begin with second effect you can activate this effect send one flip monster from your deck to the graveyard and if you do special summon one monster from your hand to a zone this card points to in face down defense position Okay, so it kind of mimics the original effects of the actual sub behemoths in the fact that they have the effect of flip themselves face down, and then if all of the monsters you control are face down monsters, you can special summon other behemoths from hand and keep doing that. Unfortunately, this is a very poor way to disguise the fact that this is a Link monster that doesn't mesh at all with the entire core mechanic of how the sub deck is meant to function. God damn it. Subterror's core mechanic for swarming the board is flipping monsters face down to summon the other behemoths from your hands. Link monsters by nature cannot be in defense mode, nor can they ever be face down. That is a huge conflict of interest. Like, if Konami wanted to make this card really good, they should have made it be able to banish itself from the field or remove itself from the field to do something and then come back next turn. Because then you'd clear the zone. You'd clear the zone and you'd clear the face-up card off your board. And you'd be able to start putting your behemoths face down. Come on now. Have some foresight. But this card does have one more effect. Third effect. Once per turn, if a monster this card points to is flipped face up, add one flip monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. That one's pretty fucking good. That's a pretty good effect, actually. Um, that card is actually... This card's actually pretty damn decent but not in sub terrors strangely enough like none 
of this card's effects, other than the attack gain one, are specific to sub-terrors. So that means that this is an amazing card for a deck like Shadal's. Absolutely an amazing card for a deck like Shadal's. This, this card works better in Shadal's than it does in sub-terrors because it directly conflicts with the core mechanic of how the deck is meant to put monsters on the, four, on the board. I can't speak! I'm losing my voice! Trying to voice! No, please. But yeah, so this thing gains attack for sub terrors used as link materials, but that's not really ultimately relevant. 2000 is already pretty big for a Link 2 monster, as we've seen thus far. Its links are actually in proper areas, pointing down and like down, down diagonally, bottom left, bottom right. So it's literally pointing down like Decode Talker does, which is fantastic because it opens two zones for you. And then both of its good effects are not sub-terror reliant, and its materials aren't sub-terror reliant, it just requires two flip effect monsters. You can use that in Shadal's. And then both of its actual real effects. Oh my god. Hold on. This thing triggers Shadal's from your deck. I just realized this. Second effect, you can activate this effect. Send one flip monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do special summon one monster from your hand to a zone, this card points to in face down defense position. This card lets you unload your hand of monsters, right? But it lets you send a Shadal from your deck to the graveyard as not a cost. There's no cost for that secondary effect, which means you get to send Shadals from deck to grave for free and trigger their effects. That's really fucking good! Oh my god, this card is absolutely amazing in every deck but sub <laughs> You can't even send Nemesis Warrior to Graveyard with this because you have to send a flip monster from your deck to the grave. Nemesis Warrior is the only one you want in the graveyard. God damn it, Konami. Thanks for making my Shadal Boner a little bit harder than it already was, but shit. This literally doesn't work in Subterrors. And then its third effect is also great for Shadals. Once per turn, if a monster this card points to is flipped face up, i.e. the entire point of the Shadal deck, Add one flip monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, so it lets you bring the Shadals that are in your graveyard back to your hand. Meaning you can do more fusion summons. You can do more shit. I'm super hyped to play this card in Shadals, but not sub terrors. <laughs> Way to drop the fucking ball. You had the chance to make a card to try and make the archetype finally be playable, but instead it's just better with Shadal cards. I hope you understand the implications of this, especially in the OCG where they have Construct, if I remember correctly. Either that, like, Construct was banned at one point, Window was at one for a period of time, but I think those cards are all back? I don't know. I'll need to check the list on that one, but I'm pretty sure they still have Construct in the OCG, in which case, this card... <laughs> oh boy. This card could do a lot for Shadals in the coming uh, OCG format essentially, because it opens up more zones for them, for summoning from the extra deck as well. So, like, there's there's a lot of good things this card does for Shadals, for both us and the OCG. But, it doesn't do those things for sub-terrors. Shit. <sighs> oh well, I think this card's fantastic. Definitely not for sub-terrors, though, for Shadals. This card triggers Shadals from your deck, this card searches Shadals from your deck, or adds them back from your graveyard. This card summons multiple monsters out of your deck, solving, or not out of your deck, out of your hand, solving the normal summon problem that Shadals has. This card is absolutely fantastic for the Shadal deck. I'm really hype. I'm hype as fuck. I'm gonna play some goddamn Shadals in link format. Hopefully, maybe, who knows. Uh, but basically, it just depends on how good the deck is in that context. But anyway... This, this card is, mm, mm, mm. this isn't going to be the saving grace for sub terrors because it's literally shit in sub terrors. It literally doesn't do anything for the deck because it directly conflicts with the core mechanic the deck was based around, which is summoning multiple of your dudes from hand. And I don't see sub terrors having the capability of being able to put this card out freely because your best cards that put multiple monsters on the field are sub terror Fiendus and sub terror Nemesis Warrior. And you can't use those for this card's Link Summon because those aren't flip effect monsters. I'm a tad bit upset. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna be doing another video completely to talk about the Spiral card that we're getting in Circuit Break as well. This card is getting imported to us in the OCG Imports in Circuit Break. So we will see it then and we will be able to see how it handles with some Shadal decks at that time frame. But Man, sub-terrors are still just as sub-optimal 
as I remember them being. This card doesn't change anything. And that's sad. I really wanted this card to change something. I wanted this archetype that was bad for ages to finally get its comeuppance. But no, the card that they printed for it is better suited for Shadals. Uh-uh. Extreme dislike. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, as always. Let me know what you guys think, as I've already said. Links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. Helps some future projects for the channel come into fruition. Helps show your support a fantastic amount, and you would have my eternal gratitude if you want to help me out in that sort of area. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video because hopefully there's something better than the sub card that we get here. The spiral card seems kind of lit though.